Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Gang. What are we supposed to be doing? What's this, cousin? Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. He is... Clan, summoned in the place of the friends that I lost. Sarin Bereki and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us, said Bereki and I had gone strange. Ha! 
Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness, or some fuel for the fire. She was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. What's the name of that river down there? Wizard, Corbin. The Sioux Earth. Whatever it's called.
citizens will. Yeah.
other than this? I can... If not over, then through. Bella seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Arabella? Hey! I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing, like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? You are flooded with memories of the distant past. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. Yep, and I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him, and I'm still learning. Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. Have a lot on my mind and well. <laughs> The corpse does not respond. The corpse does not respond. Something good here, I hope. Glory of Mother Gith. Tell 
me you've taken the Orphic Hammer. Ah, you finally come. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Vlakith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, you've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. Then I will wait here until you have. The chains that bind Orpheus also bind the whole of the Githyanki people. Friendly face at last. Are you going to the party as well? I know. A bit strange, isn't it? But then you have to be open to trying new things. The venue's called The Palace. Not sure what it stands for, but it sounds very exclusive. My date's supposed to meet me here, but there's no sign of him. You haven't seen him, have you? Pale, skinny, extremely piercing eyes. The individual descriptions could refer to many things, but taken together, she can only be referring to something vampiric in nature. It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. He didn't seem the type to cancel. A vampire? No, he wasn't. Was he? But then, why am I still here? He could have had me by the neck any time he liked. He did seem quite interested in my collarbones. I thought that was just his thing, if you catch my drift. You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I... Um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. goes nothing. Citizen is unconscious and won't be waking up anytime soon. These street trash need to watch their tone. I don't tolerate disrespect. If all these folks can just keep their shit together, maybe nobody else will get hurt. Maybe. I used to think those things were going to make me feel safer. 
Not anymore. I don't like this. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. Don't push us. I wouldn't mind doing a little shopping in the city. Raise our city to its pinnacle. Same. You think I may have overdone it with the black? You! You two must submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. Oh, I'm um, sorry, Count Chat. Oh, thank Karelan. You're a lifesaver. One five eight, one five nine. Think of Lord Gortash's still watch. Well, I am Boy, so glad you are. I got my eye on you. You got the look of a troublemaker. Look, I just packed the papers. If you've got a complaint, editor's inside. Hey, cut it out, will you? I've got deliveries to manage. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to stop there. Only Etvard's allowed to use the basement elevator. Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity. You star in our next edition's top story. Well, you should have considered that before disgracing yourself in public. Not many enter our fine city and immediately start meddling in murder investigations. Curious, don't you think? The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then, we can only hope the fist do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. <laughs> nice try, but it's not gonna work. Lord Gortash and me are very close, and he mentioned no such thing to me. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? Oh, you will drive back the army of the absolute and raise our city to its pinnacle. We stand with you and for you, or maybe two interfere.
This corpse has been desecrated. Displayed. And there's nothing random about it. Circus class. What an end for Dribbles the Clown. Stay for a walk. Look, I read that if you walk around the pub after each pint, you don't get a hangover. And if it's in the Gazette, it has to be true. You don't want none of this. It looks like. I promise. You won how much? It was half that the ten day ago. We back again. We're trying to relax here. The rats are dead. Your performance is adequate, servant. The rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Just lying around, you furry chunkers. Do you addressed an archduke? Your Excellency? Your Eminence? The cycle comes for us all. Once Gortash clears off the cultists, there's nothing that man can't do. You know, they're just giving out free wine here, calling it a sample. Very cosmopolitan. Highbury Townhouse. Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Wine scent is almost sickly sweet, with an acrid note just on the periphery. Poison. 
no. It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Only a matter of time before another body turns up. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I still can't believe what that horrid man wanted to do. I still can't believe. Want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. See the point. Staying informed seems super stressful. Thank you for saving Cora. Thank you. Thank you.
We're I'm working. never eating at the elves all again. What do I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? Well, I am so glad you asked, Edward. What are you going to do? That's what it takes to... A broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit defective. Return to the steel watch foundry. Do you know how hard it was to get those cabbages into the city? No, you're impossible. Crime scene not open to public by order of the flaming fist. <sighs> Next time's the charm. Holding. The corpse regards you lifelessly. remains silent. It does not know. Limbs locked up, then hand cut off. Making me soup ruined now. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Sacrificed his own father. I hope freedom from the pact is worth it to him. What's in here? That corpse is huge. And it's not a burning heart. Clown's arm. Dribbles, no doubt.
The corpse has nothing to say. Which way we came? Left, left, right. Down the stairs, and oh, was it up the stairs? I should speak up. Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous hobby. Gets people killed. On a half orc's finger, you notice an unusual ring, heavy and with a strange symbol carved on its surface. Scurry away, good book, before I crush you. You recall seeing this symbol on crates marked for Nine Fingers Keen, leader of the guild. The thug works for her. Oi, stop staring. Start walking. Last chance. You're here to see Nine Fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscon. Never hears a list of special guests. Confusing. Come, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine Fingers is inside. In you go! Before I change my mind. Well, well. The fabled haunt of Nine Fingers Keep. Never visited before. I thought you'd got around. I will steer clear. <laughs> oh, you rancid bastard. See? Mine's fresh. Welcome to the Geldal, Faerun's finest festival. As long as you're not sober. Or able to smell. We're all on the same side. Wow, look who it is. Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. Ready to do some business? Sure is. We work for Fetcher, handling what you might call pre-owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. Don't 
bug me. I'm making plans. Big plans, see? Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Let's just say the previous owners no longer have a use for them. Got me? If it's Uktar you're after, he's in with the Guild Master. Not even Nine Fingers Keen can escape the great balancing of Guild Books. Your eyes are going to want to wander all over this gold. It's only natural. Just make sure it stops at your eyes, aye? Right? The guild's no army, however tough they act. Just 20 different thieving crews come to hide behind Nine Fingers' skirts. Now, the guild master's little hunt is bringing all sorts of new faces out of the woodwork. I'm supposed to be on watch. hands don't mind the ladies court just a game we play figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers what's the point in paying the guild for protection when they pull back all their crews there's a bloody army coming It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <laughs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Arm any children old enough. If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me. This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Whichever one gives you the most comfort. The Guild is this city's first and last line of defense. It's only natural that we watch the gates for anyone interesting. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. 
I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but... Straight to business, then. You've been seen with a certain harper. Grey of hair, somewhat spiky of manner. We're practically sisters! <laughs> so much so, I even stopped trying to have her killed a few years back. I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? Oh, I never said that we get along. Now, is there anything else you need? Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. The leader of some new crew that's intent on painting my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on the message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. Doesn't matter. Whatever god the prick prays to, I'll send him to meet it soon enough. We don't. The Zentarim work for me. Time was I'd charge the bastards double if I let them into my hall at all, but times change. The Guild is many things, but it's not an army. If the Absolute keeps pushing in on our territory, then I need a little weight to push back. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared. I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried-out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half-gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Huh. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. Don't pout. For a brief second, I did weigh the odds on killing you. But if there's a tainted elder brain slopping around below my city, I think we need one another more than ever. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Mm. <laughs> you have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered, and the Parliament of Beers, well... They're just generally too inbred to be useful. The Absolute's at our gate, and the Guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Almost pleasant, traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. If you're sure. Fine.
I did not know. I am sure Will knows that. But we would do well to remind him when his days grow dark. Hope. The very hook from which these devils try to hang us. I have no answers. For you or for Will. But if Mizora means to linger with us, I mean to find out if devils do indeed sleep. And just how heavily. Ah. I know what she speaks of. I need, uh, information from her. And a pardon from you. For I have not been overly generous with the truth. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mintz of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minz charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. And would again. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? Hmm. Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. Nine Fingers King controls the guild, which in turn controls every criminal racket from Heapside to the High Hall. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't hear of sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a Harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. I have. And while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine fingers keen. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. A mysterious keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. <laughs> Nine fingers is much more than a thief. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't learn of, sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall. Huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. As you wish. <sighs> no one back home will ever believe this. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kalimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, 
I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unhold. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. How nice. You won't find many of those in my guild hall. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stonelord. Exactly the one. Guild crews may be prone to exaggeration, but not in this case. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira... Well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guild hall is awash with ale-scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? Beverages of distinction. Or in some cases, extinction, if you ain't careful. How you feeling today? Lucky? Careful around the steel watch. The old guard gave Thebes a slap on the wrist, but those bolted bastards whew, will rip off the whole damn arm. Don't mind the ladies' court. Just Bare hands. A charm, of course. No distractions, mate. 
Nine Fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Wants our friends and Parliament close with this new duke making moves. Ah, you did not see me. A peer of the Parliament openly walking the Guildhall would sell a few copies of Boulder's Mouth, I expect. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The Children of Haw? The names ring familiar. Two of the many crews that make up the Guild. A loose collective with ties to every criminal enterprise in the city's underworld. In between scores, then. Oh, there's no shame in that. This Stone Lord business has even the bigger crews shutting up shop for a while. Fair warning, the Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Looking to prove yourself, are you? Carve your name in the Guildmaster's good books. Nice to see a little ambition amongst the smaller crews. I can't help you, but look around for a halfling named Tut. Nine Fingers has been known to pour her secrets in his ear time to time. Maybe because he rinses them out with wine. Ready to do some business? Sure is. That fingers is a master of strategic. Strategical. She's clever fun. Won't fight the Stone Lord out in the open, but she's got a spot picked out, see? And. and uh... I don't care about Stone Lord Tut. Don't care about some ambush. I asked, do you eat my last pickled ooze? Huh? Bugger off! I'm talking to my friend about a news. No, no. He who keeps his manners keeps his teeth. Besides, you are only pretending to be as wine-soaked as your friend here. Oh, I... How can you tell? I've been to fouler festivals than this, and you have the stage presence of Volothamp Gedarm. Now, you were speaking to my friend, politely. See, Foss? This one has respect. <sighs> now, where was I? A stone lord, aye. The bastard's going after the accounting house, but he doesn't know that there's just another guild operation, eh? Nine Fingers is gonna catch him with his claws in their coffers. <laughs> I pity the bastard. The counting house? But what the hells could Minsk want there? Happy? Now, why were you? We want drink in peace. Yeah. This bird is worse than any foppy. Stock price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't.
was a lad all night merry. You mustn't. The city is full of criminals. We can't let them know we're vulnerable. Fine. We'll just stand here until we remember the way, shall we? Folks gutted. Didn't see it happen though, thank my gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. <laughs> the corpse right there. The corpse has nothing to say. I mean, can't believe everything you read, but if even half Edra's reporting is true, some folk are just nasty. Please, kind sir, can you spare a few coins to feed my son? He's sick and likely to die. Please. Phil Graves Mansion. To the mansion's faded exterior, you see the faintest outline of a door, an entrance designed to provide the utmost discretion. Whatever lies behind the door, it guards such secrets closely. It will not reveal them to just anyone. seen the ugliest things yet. Oh, 
before they've fallen. On the hunt. those creatures down. Truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. What are these things? And gods do they stink? Oh, gods! This guts all over my boat! Can't I be used to the smell of fish? Did you see? Head? They popped up out of the water all around me. Bitch Queen's mercy. Oh, I think I might have had my fill of fish for the next few ten days. Having these things lying around is bad for business. about you on the privy, didn't I? Likes of you just make it hard on the likes of me. I don't think you're the sort of company I ought to be keeping. Smell that, right? Bloody rotten it is! Seems like a good moment to talk. Oh, don't worry about the smell, citizen. Probably just the drains. Nothing to concern yourself with. 